I think sociology today has you know, any number of really interesting subfields that are uh, on the cutting edge of research, not just for ourselves, but in the world at large. Uh, I don't know all of them. I'll, I can mention two that I think are really interesting. I think that sociology has really been at the forefront of social network analysis and how you know, the, the very structure of our social relations, sometimes completely unbeknownst to us that you know, third and fourth degree relationships away from us that we're not even aware of actually affect our behavior. I think it's an, an, an enormously powerful insight and one that's being built upon and, and is, was developed by sociologists uh, per se and, and which is continuing to be a contribution that sociology is making to the, to the wider world. Second, I think that the integration of sociology with the biological sciences is incredibly promising. Uh, we've long said uh, since our founding that it, you know, we're just not simple machines that are, or, or animals that are programmed by our genes, and yes, genes and heredity may matter, but how they matter depends completely on social context. That you know, if you have a gene for aggressiveness, let's say, uh, you are born into a ghetto, you end up in jail. You have a gene for aggressiveness and you're born into a very a well-to-do family and have all the advantages, then you end up as the CEO and then in jail. So uh, you, uh, that's great, that's a great adage. We all believe that's true probably, but how do you actually empirically work that out, show that, well, what, what context matters, what genes matter, and how, when, why? Uh, that's what, with the, the advent of you know, cheap genetic sequencing, and the increasingly sophisticated statistical tools that sociologists have to estimate causal relationships of, in, of social environment, those are meeting, and I think it's a very exciting subfield that, that, that that's one that I'm more directly involved in.